guys know I um I like to let the Lord lead me in what He wants me to do. And ever since Pastor told me when I was going to be speaking, I've been listening to the Lord and just hearing different things. And so I really um, had listened to what the Lord had said a few weeks ago. His word said, if you love me, feed my sheep. If you love me, feed my lamb. Hallelujah. And so today, I went to a service early this morning, Women's uh, Fellowship, as well as my regular church service. But on the way, the Lord gave me a title for this message. That's the indestructible gift. What gift can you receive that you can't destroy? You can't break it. You can't lose it. It's only one. And that's God's love. That's God's love. You can't lose God's love. You can't break God's love. The only thing you can do is walk away from it. You can walk away. But it's still right there where you left it. You can always go back and pick it up. Right where you left it. So I just thank God because I've left his love before and he was still right there to pick me up right yeah. where I left him. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, my scripture is coming from uh, oh Lord, oh, forgive me. Please, it's Matthew. Anyway, it's where it says to feed my sheep yeah. if you love me. Yeah. My challenge is do you love Jesus? Do you know how to feed his sheep? Do you know how to feed his lamb? Who is his sheep? And who is his lamb? And I asked the Lord, Lord, what's the difference? They both sheep. <laughs> but <clears throat> what he gave me was this. The lamb he spoke of first. Because that's those babies. See, little children do have a place in the kingdom of God. He said, the same night, let the kids come to me. And see, and I remember because I came to the Lord as a child. And I could distinctly remember. I was five and a half, six years old when I first started talking to the Lord. When I first had a knowledge of who God really was and a real relationship with God. See, some of us think that you have to get older and you got to hear about God somewhere when you grow. But no, uh -uh. you need to teach your children while they are little. Amen. Amen. Give them the word of God. That's right. Amen. And the sheep are those older seasoned folks. Because some folks come in when they're grown. Yeah. So you got to feed those sheep. And you can't feed them the same food. Babies, you got to feed them a little, you know, softer food to go down a little bit better. And even some of the grown folks, you got to feed them baby food. <laughs> because as Paul talked about, some of y'all need to be on meat, but you're still on milk. Mm -hmm. yeah. And unfortunately, that is so true today. Some of us can't take the word of God, that strong meat word of God, strong correction in the word of God. But 
we should be able to. Amen. Amen. That we should be all growing to that point where we can be directed and redirected with the word of God. That's right. the, the most important thing that we have in this earth, in this world, is relationship. Relationship with each other. And love in those relationships. Amen. Forgiveness in those relationships. Amen. Yeah. I don't care what happened. Right. I don't care how bad you've been hurt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How bad you've been wronged. Mm -hmm. yeah. Forgiveness will cover everything. Amen. God. It gives you freedom. Yes, it does. I'm so I'm so grateful to be at God's house of liberty. Amen. 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 To serve God, Amen. to speak openly, yes. and this is a safe place. Amen. You know, we we live in a glass house, most of us. Uh -huh. Amen. And not to just speak on you, but Mary, oh my God, you seem so quiet. Amen. And no one knew the pain that you've been through. Yeah. And I'm so grateful to God. Like I said, this is God's house of liberty. Yeah. Yeah. You needed that. Amen. You needed that. Amen. And I'm so grateful to God that you were able to share that. Amen. Thank you so, so much. Yeah. It, it, it helps me to understand some things that God was saying to me throughout the week. Mm. Yes. I don't know about y'all, but my favorite place as I told them last night, <laughs> my favorite place to get a word from God is sitting on my throne. Okay. Amen. <laughs> okay. Amen. You sitting there, it's something about you can hear the word of God. Yeah. It just comes through. Uh -huh. Just don't, as Pastor say, those little nuggets. Amen. They just come. In the middle of the night, you know, you go in there, God Amen. just drops something in your spirit. Yeah, he just opens revelation to you. Uh -huh. You know, you don't mean to always remember it, mm -hmm. but it comes. Mm -hmm. Next time you go, try it out. <laughs> <laughs> but I praise God, you guys, for real, for real. Amen. There's nothing like loving Jesus. Amen. There's no greater love anywhere yeah. than that. Um... <clears throat> I'm going to be a little bit transparent here. My family has been torn up, towed back. I've been hurt, hurt, hurt to, to the core. But I tell you what, there's nothing like forgiveness and restoration. Yeah. God can bring you back together yes, yes, can. with no residual stuff. Yep. I don't care. How bad it might hurt. Mm -hmm. Going through it, yes, it's painful. Amen. But don't let that stop you. Mm -hmm. If you have a loved one somewhere, and y'all got issues, get it together. Amen. Be that peacemaker that God said, hey, your feet are shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. All right, all right. Go to that individual right. and try and make it right. Because it ain't nothing that's going to last in eternity but relationship. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's the only thing. When you dead and gone, you ain't taking no gold chains and <laughs> watches and rings and yeah, right, right. Yeah. Amen. your cars, your beds, your yeah. whatever Amen. you got. None of that stuff is going with you. That's right. yeah. The only thing that's going to last is relationship one with another. Yeah. That's the only thing. Your spirit, that's it. These bodies, you know, I, a few years ago, I decided to go ahead and have a surgery because I wanted to be all fine and fabulous like I used to be. Yeah. Flat stomach and everything. Uh -huh. 
But guess what? I wind up with a hernia and looking to me worse than I was before. Because I'm trying to fix me. To be something I thought I wanted to be. Right. Come on now. God said, uh uh, no. So guess what? People ask me, you gonna have surgery again to get that fixed? I'm like, uh uh. I woke up three days later when I should have been at home two hours after the surgery. Right, right. right. I don't think I ain't wake up. Uh uh. Nope. I will have this when I'm gone. So I, I, I thank God. But this here, it just taught me something. I'm trying to fix something. I'm trying to love myself and be all this and a bag of chips too, you know? That's what I wanted to do. But uh-uh. And I think about that because, hey, if I did do all that, I might have got out of character and decided myself. Uh-uh, yeah, yeah. Right. I might have found myself walking away from God for a short minute, uh, you know? Yeah, Taking yeah. a little side rabbit trail. Uh-huh. <laughs> Yeah. But I know he would have brought me back. Mm -hmm. But I'm just saying, y'all, Jesus is love. Yeah. Amen. I don't care what you do, where you go, even if you at that bar, if you at the club, mm -hmm. you at the whole house. Yeah. God knows you're there. Yeah. Yeah. He sees you. That's right. All you got to do is ask him to forgive you yeah. and get yourself to back together. Yeah. You make the decision that you want to do the right thing for God. Yeah. He will bring you back to where you need to be. Because yeah. see, none of us have a heaven or hell to put you in. Yeah. And yeah. one thing we need to remember, we are all a part of one body. Amen. Right? That's right. Yes. And when one hurts, all of us should hurt. Yeah, that's right. We should be going to each other's rescue. Amen. Yeah. I had the unfortunate thing this this beginning of the year. I fell down the steps, broke my left big toe. And then, what was it, two weeks later, I'm stepping off the stage, the stage up here and sprung my ankle. Oh my so, God brought it to my attention yesterday as I was walking to the car. <laughs> Both feet are hurting, y'all. <laughs> hurting in different places. But this whole body still has to go. Yeah. These two feet have to take this body where it's got to go. That's right. yeah. So mentally, I'm thinking, oh, Lord, my my feet hurt, my feet hurt. I'm here to tell y'all, bring some comfortable shoes, okay? Yeah. Your feet hurt, it messes with the whole rest of your Amen. body. What's one thing that's out of whack, the whole body feels it. So same thing in the church. When we are a church family, we're a church body, if somebody's missing, we miss you. Yes. Amen. 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 Somebody here ought to be calling and saying, hey, where you at? Yeah. What's going on? Right. Mm -hmm. We miss you. We love you. Yeah. And then, you know, some of us don't want nobody to call us. Mm -hmm. Don't want nobody to notice that we are a place. Mm -hmm. But that's not what the Word of God says. Mm -hmm. We are our brother's keeper. Yeah. We are our sister's keeper. Yes. We are responsible for each other. Yes. I thank God for the family of God. Yes. Because see, it isn't always your natural family yes. that you got your best yes. interests at heart. Yes. But see, your church family should always have your best interests at heart. Yes. No matter what your yes. family, your church family yes. should always be thinking something good and positive about you. Amen, yeah. I know I have a lot of issues at work. And I'm going to tell you, we're going to always be growing, y'all. Because yes. folks just going to try you. Mm -hmm. The devil knows who you are. He knows that 
God has a plan for you. Mm -hmm. And as Mary, as I was listening to you talking, God has an awesome, awesome plan for you. Amen. And the devil knows that. And it's, he's trying to destroy you. And see, that's what happens in our lives. We think that everything, because we're a Christian, everything is so hunkadory. Yeah, yeah. Everything's just beautiful. <laughs> Flowers and roses yeah, yeah. all the time. Because we have the love of God in our heart. But guess what? In your spirit, it can be that way. But outside, mm, mm, mm. it can be terrible. It can smell like the sewer. Because Satan knows that he's trying to destroy you. Yes. He's trying to trip you up. You I don't know how many of you guys have That's been true. having such a good day. Ah, it's a really nice day. Yeah, and Satan just come and slap you out of your place of peace. Mm -hmm. He just broadside you from nowhere. <laughs> and before you know it, you may be done cussed. Uh -oh. You may be done balled up your fist. Uh -oh. You might be done got ready to slap somebody <laughs> and just threw you out of your character. Yeah, man. But that's because he knows that God has a blessing for you. Yeah. God has a plan for you. Yeah. Each and every one of us. Mm -hmm. All we have to do is just go through the process. Mm. It is a process. Yes, it is. And sometimes we just don't want to go through it. Hmm. It ain't easy. Yes. I'm here to tell you, I've been through a whole lot of them. Amen. From the church, to family, Your to Lord friends, Jesus. to enemies, work, mm -hmm. you name it. I've been there. Mm -hmm. But I thank God he's brought me through all of it. Amen. And the one thing that you can do, you can always have joy in your heart. Right. You can always. That's something nobody can take from you. That's right. Nobody can take the love of God from you. Nobody can take your peace, but we can give it to them. Right. And sometimes we wind up doing that. Mm. Here, you can have my peace because right there, I can handle this. Uh -oh. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And sometimes you feel good about that. Sometimes you just, you want to you wanna go there. Yeah. But it's not Christ-like. Mm, that's right. But we do. But when we do do that, you know what? God, yeah. he knows. He knows that he still loves us just the same. Mm -hmm. that's right. All we got to do is get it together yeah. and try and do better next Thank time. Yeah. But hey, I'm here to tell you guys. Um, as I was talking to Brother Tony, and I was asking him about doing a song and whatever, he let me know that we have such a blessing, you guys. And I'm going to ask Brother Tony if he will come on up here and bless us. Amen. Amen. Because. He is a prophetic musician. Amen. I don't know how Amen. many of you know how to get into that prophetic mode and just let God speak to you Amen. through the travailing music. Listen. Close your eyes and let God speak to you. That's what's more important to me, is you guys having a personal experience with God. Mm. Just you and God. Yes, I can speak and I got plenty to say. But I want God to speak to you. I want God to speak to you. You and God have a conversation. Mm. I didn't know that he um, was that blessed. Um, well, I know he's blessed, 
But I didn't know that, that was one of the things that he does. But I want you guys to experience that. Because if he just played just a few notes, I was in a whole, totally different place. I could have started the service all by myself <laughs> before the service got started. I thank God. I thank God. So I'm going to ask you guys right now just to close your eyes. Close your eyes. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Speak, Lord. Speak, Lord. Speak, Lord. Speak, Lord. Oh, no, no, no. Woo. Thank you, Jesus.
as you rode into it, Lord on the donkey, Lord God. They threw palm leaves down, Lord God. Like we lay out a red carpet, Lord God, for people today. So they were laying down the carpet for you, Lord God. Hallelujah. They were saying, we love you, Lord. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We love you. Oh, Lord. God. Yes, Lord. God. They received you, Lord God. On that day. On that Sunday, Lord God. They received you. But oh Lord, hallelujah. Some of those same folks. Hallelujah. That were singing, I love you. On the next Sunday, Lord God, will see you crucify him. By the end of the week. Crucify him. Hallelujah. God help us to understand that not everyone's gonna love us, Lord God. Not everyone that says, Lord, Lord, is gonna come into the kingdom. Right? No. God, help us to be real in our spirits, Heavenly Father. Help us, Lord God. Help us, Lord God, to be sincere in our hearts, Lord God. Thank you, Lord. Oh, praise God. Help us to lay down every sin, Lord God. Every thought, Lord God. Every action, Lord God, that's not like you, Heavenly Father. Help us to lay it down, Lord God. Lay aside, Lord God, every need that weights us down, Lord God. Lord God, I thank you. I thank you, Lord God, because your love, Lord God, but never, ever, Lord God, leave us. Oh, Jesus, you are so awesome. You are so, so awesome, Lord. God, oh, you told us, Lord God, that we could come before your presence, Lord God, with singing, Lord God. Mm. We enter into your courts with praise, Lord God. We give thanksgiving unto you, Lord God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Lord God, help us to understand, Lord God, that we, Lord God, have power, Lord God. Power like no other, Lord God. We are powerful people, Lord God. Help us to realize, Lord God, who we are, Lord God, in you. I thank you, Lord God. Yes, Lord God. Woo, thank you, Jesus. Help us to take it to the Lord in prayer. You guys, we are able to just talk to God anytime. We can go to Him in prayer. We can lay everything at His feet. You don't have to tell everybody what your weakness was, what your fall was, but you can tell God. Because guess what? He already knows. Ooh, I praise God. All of our thoughts. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. He saw the need. Thank you. And God so loved the world that He gave yes, he did. His yes. only begotten Son, Hallelujah. Jesus. There you go. That whosoever believeth in Him, yes. all you gotta do is believe. It don't have to be to believe. Believe on Him, and you shall have ever. That's all it costs. Just to believe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. That's the indestructible gift mm. of God. Mm. Amen. Just believe. Hallelujah. And you will receive it. Hallelujah. All you gotta do is receive it. Yeah, thank you, Lord. 
and it's yours. Thank you, Lord. I praise God and I thank God Hallelujah. for these few minutes. I know it's a little bit different, God. but this is how God gave it to me. Amen. And I like to flow with God. I don't like to write out no message. I want it to be fresh to me, you, and whoever. Let God let bloom how he wants it to be. So I praise God and I thank you guys for praise praise God. God.